I saw somebody mention that The Void was the best John Carpenter film that Carpenter didn't do. And I have to agree with that. The movie does feel very much in line with Carpenter, which, if you know me at all, is some very high praise because I think that uh, John Carpenter is one of the best, not only best horror directors, but one of the best directors out there. The movie's about a cop who finds a guy on the side of the road and he takes him to the closest hospital. Now, unfortunately, the closest hospital is uh, under repairs because of some fire damage that happened recently. So a lot of the staff and whatnot have moved on to a larger hospital that is a little further out. But there's still a skeleton crew here. There's a doctor, a couple nurses, and uh, seemingly from out of nowhere, the entire hospital is surrounded by this very unusual cult. It's a group of people, they're all wearing these long cloaks, and they have these masks that have these triangles cut in them. And if you go outside, they will try to murder you. So everyone's inside the hospital, they're trying to figure out what the hell's going on, and as time progresses, things start to get a little bit weird inside the hospital. I absolutely love this movie. I was riveted pretty much the entire time. I thought that uh, just the feel of it was right. Everything about it just was on point. There was a lot of practical effects, which, you know me, major kudos. The story, they told you just enough to get you intrigued, and they kind of drip-fed it to you. And then they left a lot of it up to your imagination. They left a lot of it up to you to fill in the blanks as far as what was going on. They weren't insulting your intelligence. They were showing you enough and then you were kind of figuring things out as it went along. And I like that because there's a lot of movies that do that and they're the ones that stick with you because after the movie's over, then you're still trying to kind of piece things together like, okay, this is what happened and this happened and really putting it together. And then also there are other possibilities and it, it just leads to you really mulling over the film and enjoying it and wanting to go back and watch it again to see if you can pick up on some more stuff. The directors who did this, this is not their debut feature. However, it's probably going to be the one that brings them the most attention. They've done stuff before like Father's Day and Manborg, and they've done a ton of work in special effects, which is why it uh, was really cool to see them using their talents and create some spectacular practical effects. The downside is there were certain parts in the movie where they weren't trying to show you things. And in doing that, I thought that they kind of hid things a little too much. Uh, there's one scene in particular where there's a lamp and it's flickering. And while it's flickering, you're catching glimpses of something. On top of that, they're editing the film very quickly. So they're going back and forth between the lamp and the light flickering. And then you're seeing something. And I felt like if maybe... Maybe they would have stretched it out like another couple of seconds, just a few more frames. It would have made things a little bit more fulfilling like you would have been able to catch a better glimpse of what was going on and I know that part of this kind of film is not showing you everything it's just showing you little glimpses of something but this it felt it was just too quick aside from that that's really my only nitpick I did not have any major issues with this and early on things were edited a little too quickly but later on in the film you did get some good looks at things and uh, they still were very deceptive about it so it wasn't just played out here's the big gigantic reveal so in the end there was still some mystery as to what you're seeing the void is absolutely terrific I had so many people telling me to see it and I wanted to see it but unfortunately it was not playing in any theaters around here and I checked and it opened in like 31 theaters or something and then they put it on uh, video on demand and so uh, when it hit video on demand I immediately jumped at the chance to be able to see it and I was not disappointed the Void's awesome. It's currently on video on demand. It's going to come out on DVD in May. And uh, kind of bummed that it's not coming out on Blu-ray. It's not going to be for everybody because it is very weird. But if you like John Carpenter movies like In the Mouth of Madness and The Thing, you are definitely going to like this. 